Hello YouTube and welcome to Victorious Villarreal episode 6. I think I said that backwards. Um, but we are here. It is start of season 2 and it is match week 2. And as you can see, we did not have a great match week 1. Losing 2-0 to Huesca in our first game. What I'm going to show you though is our transfer history and show you what we've done so far. We have brought in Sandro Tonali for 9 mil is four mil up front and five over three years. Palacios and Almada, I think I'd already shown you, but we've got rid of a few players. So Gerard Moreno, we've sold for 38 mil. Pena for two, Pedraza for two, Purvis for two, Moy Gomez for two, Baca for two, 1.3 there, and a whole lot of loans as well. I'm not settled on this team. We tried a 4-3-3 in the first game and it wasn't really working. So we've gone 4-2-3-1 here. Um, it does suit a lot of our best players. Palacios is injured. So we're going to take him off the bench quickly for Jao Mario. But this is the team. So we've got Rulli, Matheson, Torres, Josco, Mendes, Tanali, Thomas Party, Sam, Almada, Lee and Esposito. And that's how we're going to start against Barcelona. Normally, when we're the better side, we'll probably start with the fullbacks up there as well, just to get a bit more aggressive. But just to start with today, they're going to be in those deeper areas. So here we go. We are in desperate need of three points today. The JS has gone with a 2-1 dub, which I would love. And they've gone with Neto, Semedo, Ruben Diaz, Toribo, Firpo, Busquets, Gundi, Pjanic, Messi, Griezmann, and Suarez. Who have they got on the bench? Nothing too crazy on the bench. We've got Lamptey, Cherky, Albiol, Jean Mario, Ryan, and Karamoko Dembele. So we've got enough firepower on the bench. And we are desperate for three points. And we only got 12 mil of that 38 um, in the bank. So we are definitely looking at getting a new goalkeeper. That's the priority. And we'll see how things go from there. But early days, Barcelona have all of the play, which is definitely not ideal. But we have the first shot, which is surprising. But here we go. We haven't found out who is in our group just yet for the Europa League. But that will be the second game of this episode. It looks like Sam's picked up a knock. But it looks like he should be all right. So we'll leave him out there just for now. So yeah, the other game that we'll play will be whoever our first group game is in the Europa League. So we want to make sure that we push on this season um, and continue our good form going into season 2021, 22, no. Season 2020, 2021. Tenali, still our ball with Lee. Okay, fair enough. That is uh, an interesting way to score our first goal of the season. Um, I'm going to have a look at that again because that was uh, pretty interesting. So Lee's had it out wide, finds Tenali, Ruben panics, and Lee just knocks into an open goal. So I'm going to praise the boys here. That is a fantastic way for us to start. It's good to have Lee back in the side as well because we definitely missed him in that run home last season. So... We're very, very lucky to have Sandro Tonali with us as well. Um, Notice he got transfer listed after his loan move to AC Milan, which in real life we know is going to be um, a permanent move for him. But FM doesn't quite know that. So anyway, we're very happy to get him in for four mil up front. I thought that was an absolute steal when I just had to pounce on that. Ball back into Lee though. Messi drops very deep to get on it. Suarez finding Messi. I noticed Griezmann, I think, was out there by himself. Suarez is through, and it is 1-1. One, one. doesn't take Barcelona much, does it? It's a very, very good side at the moment. Good little counter-attack from them, though. I'm going to tell the boys to get creative here. I feel like Barcelona are there for the taking, if we can just take it to them as well. All right, what are we? 30 minutes in, three shots on target each, a goal each. And what did Barcelona do? They drew their game... In match week one as well. Let's close down Suarez. We'll probably take Sam off at half time for Karamoko Dembele as well because I don't want that injury getting too bad for Sam. But things are looking alright. Here we go. Luke Matheson, long throw. Back post, Sam. Not offside. Alright, we'll take that. Fair enough. I thought that was offside by a country mile. 
Who kept him on? I want to have a look here. I know there were defenders there, but they all stepped up. Must have been Griezmann. Must have kept him on side. But Sam will take that. Ooh, and we'll take that too. 2-1, as JS predicted. But it's 2-1 in the first half. So strap yourselves in, because this second half is definitely going to have goals in it, I think. So we get to half time. We're going to take Sam off, even though he just scored. I don't want to risk him getting any worse. So we're going to go Karamoko on the, ben off, on the bench. Off of the bench, I should say. I'm going to get passionate. I'm happy with the performance so far. Let's go again. More than happy for Barcelona to have possession. What we're going to do is we're going to put Sandro on defend, though, I think. Have Thomas sort of just roaming there as a box-to-box -box midfielder and let Tanati just screen in front of the back four. Going to praise the boys as well. We've got to get them up and about. It'll make me feel a lot better if we can get three points here against Barcelona. It'll definitely make me feel better about dropping points last match week to... I can't remember who we had now. Huesca, that's who it was. And we've started out okay here, surprisingly. Oh, God. As I say that, Messi on the corner, whips it in. Torres only finding Semedo. We forced them all the way back. Okay, Neto. First time we've played Neto. Every other time it's been uh, to stay in. Tadebo. I'd love to have him as a centre-back for us. Into Ruben Diaz. Finding Semedo. Barcelona really starting to find their rhythm now. Pjanic. Griezmann. Keep him there. Suarez, good block. Can we get there as Bezito? Far away. He's far away from the action though, isn't he? Junior Firpo. Ball across into Griezmann. Firpo. Goal. Oh my god, he's missed. Esposito, can you just go and get the ball, man? He's just like a huge line between our whole team and Esposito. It's frustrating. All right, here we go. Really goes short. Torres, can we get Tenali on the ball? Here we go. Big ball up to Esposito. He does well. Finding party. Just drop it there. Armada cranks it to no one. Gets headed to Lee. Armada's got to do better there, but we've kept the ball here. Tenali. Can we get it out wide? Torres. Plays it back. That's fine. Get it out to the left. There we go. Yosko finds Lee. Lee hits the line. Oh, that's a great challenge there from Semedo as well. Messi plays Suarez through one-on-one. -on -one. Luis Suarez. Oh, it's two counter-attacks that Barca have had. That's it. Oh, this is frustrating. All right, we're going to get Chirks on. Because Lee's coming back from a broken leg. We need to get Chirks involved. Hold on. We're not holding on to anything, Damo. Let's get creative, boys. Come on. Can we get creative and can we find a third? <laughs> can we find a third goal here? The rest of the team looks like they're doing okay. Come on, lads. Can we find one more goal? We're playing well. We are playing well. We're doing our job. I'm going to demand a bit more. Oh, God. Pjanic. Griezmann. Let me clear it. Oh, my God. Pjanic. Umtiti. Pjanic. Messi. Why did Messi not shoot that? Why did he knock it back? He's in such a good position there to put that away. Pjanic, corner. Sergio Roberto. Go. Go, Car go forward, Karamoko. Where are you going? I don't want to change the midfield. Oh, I was going to make a change, but let's have a look at the highlight first. Yosko finds Mendes. Get moving, Cherky. There we go. This is better play. Come on, Esposito. Hold the ball up. Cherky, Almada. Oh. I was going to say we're going to take Esposito off, but might as hold off on this extra sub. Good foul. Oops, advantage. Got to win the ball back now. Griezmann's got it in the half space. Well done, Karamoko. Oh. Come on, lads. Messi. Oh, Semedo. Rulli's done. He was so good last season, and then towards the end of the year, big mistakes, and that's another big mistake. Oh, really? It's straight at him, man. What an absolute...
absolute joke. Oh, so frustrating. All right, that's what we're going to go with. Come on, boys. That is so frustrating. Come on, lads. Can we find one more? And that might be Ruli's last appearance for me. Honestly. We have a bid in for a goalkeeper. I didn't want to say anything to the for the episode just yet. But we do have a bid in for another goalkeeper. Because we were talking on the stream that Ruli's been annoying us. And he's just throwing away a point. And we're going to start the season zip and two at this point. So come on, Karamoko, get a ball forward to absolutely nobody. Dembele, Cherky, Giamario, come on, finish it off. That's the difference. That is the difference right there. Need a better goalkeeper. Giamario, can he pick ahead? He can't at Suarez. Come on, lads. Can we find one more chance? Pau Torres, back into Rulli. Wouldn't surprise me if he kicks it into our own net. Finds Giao Mario. That's a poor ball from Giao Mario. Almada does well, though. Come on, Almada. Oh, come on. Come on, Karamokes. That's a good ball over to Suarez for his hat trick. Game over. 4-2 after being 2-1 up. What a joke. Is what it is. Let's get through it. And we start zipping two, not the way we envision the start of the season. All right, done. Done deal. Aggressive. Expect to see a running training. I don't care. Not good enough. That is where we're at. So, Graham Potter, okay. Um, YouTube, you'll see us here for the Europa League group game in just a moment. Welcome back, YouTube. We are here. It is the first game of the Europa League, but what I wanted to show you was the transfers that we've made. So you already saw these three, Palacios, Almada, Tonali. We've ended up signing a new goalkeeper in Dominic Livakovic, or Livakovic. I haven't decided how I'm going to pronounce his name yet. Um, valued at 27 mil. We've paid 15 total, so 7.5 and 7.5. We've brought in Niccolo Armini. We tried getting him at the start of the save. It's taken us an extra year, but we finally brought in Niccolo to the squad. We've also brought Alexander Isaac as a recommendation from the stream. Um, I think we'd easily get him up to four stars. He's only 20. He's already at three stars. I can't imagine him not getting there. And his media description's a wonder kid, so that makes me sort of question how he's a wonder kid with only three stars. But anyway, his stats as a pressing forward are quite good. Um, and he fits our system quite well, very athletic. And we've also brought in Sven Ulreich as a backup goalkeeper, just in case something happens to Dom. We've sold Gerard Moreno and uh, Geronimo Rulli um, as the two big sales, with our young winger, um, Ernesto, going to Arsenal for five mil right at the end of the window. And the same issues, not issues, the same fees, I should say, um, from those players that I showed you previously. Now, for competitions, this is the group we've got. We've got Feyenoord, uh, Dundalk, and Hammerby, so Irish and Swedish. And the season since we lost to Barcelona has taken a bit of a turn, which is good for us because we then went and beat uh, Sociedad 1-0 and Osasuna 3-0, mainly because we've jumped back into our 4-4-2. Now, this is not the team to take on Feyenoord because I didn't actually do it. So that's not very smart on my end. And I just realized both our left backs are not... All three of our left backs are unregistered at the moment. So Matheson won't have to do the job. We'll go Yosko at left back. And we'll go Albiol in at center back. So that solves one issue. And Armini solves a lot of the issues. But we'll also get Party there who can play at the back. What we need to have a look at is we're going to get Lee on the left. We're going to get Almada on the right. 
Oh, JS, thanks for the gifted Tier 1 sub to North Beach. That is fantastic work there from our community as we are live on Twitch. Um, and then Isaac and Esbazita will stay up front together. So that's how we're going to line up against um, Fine. Or that's rattled me a little bit. So, and we're going to go Levakovic uh, ahead of Ulrich just to get us off on the right foot. Let's go. So let's see how we go. Palacios and Tanali is probably going to be our best midfield combination as well. They've got Texera, Bergwies, Ayub, who for those that were following Bathane Goss, he was a massive, massive um, player for us. Oh, Leroy Fur as well. Harps, they've got an interesting team here, but we should get the dub. I think JES, who said we're going to win 3-1? I reckon North Beach said we're going to win 3-1. I'm expecting a win tonight. Here we go, we're walking out. It is Europa League time. And we are off and away. We're going to get our stats, our body language. And JS reckons it's a 2-0 to give him the shout out there. So here we go. We are off and away. We should have no issues getting out of this group, realistically. We should be taking six points from the other two teams. So we should be getting at least 12 points from the other games. And it depends on what we do here against Feyenoord. And we start off... Relatively strong here with Matheson. Oh no, Yosko. Long throw towards Matheson. Lee, it's great to have Lee back in the squad. Finds Palacios into the post. And Isaac obviously was a very late deal. So we brought Armini, Ulrich, and Isaac in on deadline day. Mainly because we got the sale of uh, Rulli. But I didn't realise the board... We've held some money. They didn't tell us how much money we had um, prior to deadline day. And then we got to deadline day. We had 19 mil. So we started splashing it a little bit. Power Torres. Great ball. Luke Matheson gets a ball in. Isaac. Oh, we didn't really want to get Isaac a goal um, upon joining us. And we've got some young options that we can bring on up front. And that's how they'll get their experience um, with the first team, such as like Sam and and Karamoko, they can come on and play different roles, which is really positive for us at the moment. I've got to change the lot later scores. But it's been positive to see that since we've gone back into 4-4-2, we've really taken off and... Wow. How has Esposito not score that? Are you kidding me? And we've started really positively here. Esposito somehow finds Palacios. Raul the captain, loses the ball... Rare chance for Feyenoord. Matheson's just going to deal with it. And that's exactly what he does. Now, Euro, Euro Cup. There we go. So there's a whole lot of results there. Liverpool beating Red Star. I'm going to tell the boys to get creative. Five shots and one on target is definitely not ideal to start our European campaign off. Come on, boys. Can we get a goal here before half time that would be much appreciated we had all the play they want to try and play more long balls I don't know why the assistant coach always wants us to play long it's kind of frustrating but anyway we are chipping away quite nicely at Feyenoord I'd rather us not concede first though Armada finds Isaac up front takes off Alexander Isaac does well good ball in Yosko oh, the big centre back he's going to have to play left back for us throughout the whole group probably I reckon our mart has made some mistakes. We might get Karamoko on that right wing. Just to give him a break. A few guys here are struggling with some fitness issues themselves. I probably should have registered Lamptey as well because he can play both sides. That was a mistake of mine. We'll have to do that for the next round. All right, let's go. Let's get passionate. We've been the better team, which we have for once. Sometimes I say that we haven't been the better team, but they still respond well. But we've definitely been the better team here. He's got to put some of these chances away. Tenali, ball in. Isaac, there we go. Gets his first of the season. Alexander Isaac from the corner. And a few of the new faces link up to give us a well-deserved 1-0 lead. That's what we need. I'm going to praise the boys here. They deserve some praise. They are playing some fantastic football since we've gone back into our trusty 4-4-2 formation. And can we keep the... Form going. I didn't really know where I was going to go there. Um, all right, as things stand, Ajax currently losing 3-0 to Atalanta. That's a big result. 
Braga, three points clear. They're two new up in their game. This group here is pretty open as well. Applewell, I really want to see them get through with Burnley. And Levante. I don't know how that works. Because Liverpool playing Red Star. They're two new up. So both games are two new. So I don't know how. I must do it on... Oops. I must do it by alphabetically. All right. Harps. Linson. Matheson lets him go too easily. Don't dive in. I'm a bit worried about Matheson. Might take him off. Um, for Nicolo Armin, he can play it right back. We've got a very tall defense here. We've got four center backs playing across the back here. All right. That's our first sub. Tenali's starting to struggle as well. I reckon we'll go to Tenali. Oh, my God. Nicolo's missed it. I reckon we had similar issues with Nicola at Brentford. Uh, I might have just given it away, Damo. So it's good to see that Damo's jumped in as we wrap up this episode. And he's pretty happy that we've signed Armini. All right, I reckon it's time Sandro gets a break. So we're going to bring in the young Ryan to play in that role. We're also going to bring Karamoko on to play off the right. Let's go. We're going to praise the boys. I still think we've got another goal in us here. Can we find one more goal? Nicolo, long throw. Torres, oh, good header. But Verma keeps Feyenoord in the game. That's a huge kick. That is massive. Big save. Oh, Christian Conte. God damn it. God damn it. That is frustrating. All right, time to demand more. I'm not going to change a whole lot. I'm going to let the boys play it the way they played it. They've been a better team by a mile here. I'd like to think that we can get another another chance. Is there time? A draw is not the worst result, but we've been the better side. I'd much rather a win. It's got to be a chance somewhere here. Maybe not. And it looks like that's how it is going to end. Fine Nord have three shots on target to our 11. Look, I'm going to get passionate. We've done well. They're the other big team in the group. I know a draw is not ideal. The guys in the chat aren't too happy with the draw. But I'm actually not too disappointed in the draw. But anyway, for this episode of uh, Victorious Villarreal, that's it. So I haven't actually had a look at the schedule. So it's going to be a bit of a surprise for you. Um, YouTube. So if you've liked this episode, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. If you want to catch all the victorious Villarreal action live, make sure you come over to Twitch at Paulie29 to see it all unfold before your eyes live. Um, that's all for today. So thank you very much, and I hope you have a wonderful day.